today we're going to be talking about random numbers, specifically how they are generated. 5, 9, 17, 2, 13. Humans are really good at generating random numbers. We can list off endless amounts of them in no apparent pattern. We're unpredictable. Computers, however, are a completely different story. You see, a computer is actually incapable of doing anything randomly. All they can do is follow instructions, making them completely predictable. So how can a predictable machine generate unpredictable numbers? One way is to use external sources as an unpredictable factor. Scientists can't predict atmospheric noise at a certain moment or when radioactive decay occurs, so they're basically random. Computers record data from these unpredictable sources, effectively giving them what they need to generate random numbers. This method is called true random number generation. The alternative to this is pseudo-random number generation. Now, this method is much more efficient than generating true random numbers as it requires no external data, but pseudo-random number generators aren't actually random. They just look random. They start with the seed value and then run it through some sort of algorithm to generate a number. And modern algorithms are so developed that it's virtually impossible to tell that they're not actually random. So, which is better? Well, it depends. If you're playing a video game, pseudo-randomness being much quicker and more efficient would work much better. It doesn't matter that the randomness isn't actually random. It just needs to seem random. But then take the important role of random numbers and data encryption. If a hacker figures out the seed value in the algorithm, they can break your encryption. In this case, true random numbers are much better because they can't be guessed by hackers. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for weekly educational videos on various different interesting topics such as this one. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.